okay, we're going to want to use one of these two formulas for finding the arc length. Um, where this is the graph of our function x, our x squared equals the quantity y minus 12 to the third power. We have to solve this for x and use this part of the formula for ds, or we have to use, solve for y and use this formula. Uh, and you have to determine which one's going to give you an integral that's easiest to evaluate. It turns out that if you solve for y, take the derivative of y with respect to x, and try to integrate something that looks like this, 1 plus, I think you get something like 4 ninths x to the minus 2 thirds. Uh, it's a very long, tedious process to find an antiderivative for that. But if you solve this for x, you just have to take the square root of both sides, which means you'll have y minus 12 to the 3 halves power. The derivative of x with respect to y using the power rule, followed by the chain rule, but that just gives us a 1 out here because the derivative of the inside is 1. Square that expression, you get 9 fourths. Square the y minus 12 to the 1 half, you just get y minus 12. You could write this as 9 fourths y minus 27. And that's what goes into the formula. L equals the definite integral, since we're integrating along the y-axis, we will be going from 13 to 16. That's these y values right here. Of the square root of 1 plus this expression right here. And that really is just 9 fourths y minus 26. So let me take away that 1. Nine fourths y minus twenty six. <clears throat> so that's what I could replace this with down here. Now, how do you evaluate this integral? Just use u substitution. I'll let u equal nine fourths y minus twenty six, and replace everything. Oh, there's a dy out here. Uh, and I'm not going to take that to conclusion here, but the idea is that if u equals 9 fourths y minus 26, that du will equal 9 fourths du uh, dy. So when we use u substitution, we will put a 9 fourths here and a 4 ninths out front. And we'll replace these limits of integration, 13 and 16. When u equals 13, I mean, when y equals 13, what does u equal? When y equals 16, what does u equal? And it turns out it's pretty easy to evaluate. And I'll just share my screen here real quickly. We'll go to Desmos. And I'll show you that there's three different intervals here. G of x was the integral when I solved for y. Uh, and q of y was the integral when I solved for x. And you can see we get the same answer every time. Okay, 7.633. Okay, hope that helped. There you go.